The United States Treasury Secretary, Mrs. Janet Yellen, has informed President Ronald Wickremesinghe that she will support debt restructuring in Sri Lanka. The Treasury Secretary has also informed that the World Bank, Asian Development Bank, and American financial institutions are working to provide support following the financial rules to solve the economic crisis faced by Sri Lanka. Accepting President Ranil Wickremesinghe's proposal for a coordination platform for Sri Lanka's official bilateral creditors, the United States Treasury requests action in this regard. The United States, following its principles, stands ready to join other members of the Paris community sharing with Sri Lanka the common goal of accelerating financial assurance. And the U.S. Treasury has pledged to continue to engage with other government agencies as well as the World Bank and Asian Development Bank to help the people of Sri Lanka. The Treasury Secretary further informed that the United States had provided mutual support to the people of Sri Lanka by increasing the nutrition of school children, providing food vouchers for pregnant women and new mothers, and providing fertilizers and money to small and medium scale farmers to increase food production. The United States Department of the Treasury has expressed appreciation for the Sri Lankan government's decision to seek assistance from the International Monetary Fund through an Extended Fund Facility or EFF. We are happy, IMF. Kristalina Georgieva, Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, says she is pleased to be able to reach a staff-level agreement to support Sri Lanka's economic aspirations. The International Monetary Fund officially announced that Sri Lanka has recently reached a staff-level ag agreement with them, that is by mentioning that comp comprehensive funding facilities of $2.9 billion will be provided by the International Monetary Fund in the future. This is going to be implemented under a 48-month program. Grand corruption. Many of the protesters, as well as policy experts, blamed government corruption in part for, for Sri Lanka's economic crisis. The IMF has sought structural reforms to address corruption vulnerabilities. At the same time, the World Bank said that before it provides new financing, it is working closely with implementing agencies to establish robust control and f fiduciary oversight to ensure, ensure these resources reach the poorest and most vulnerable. Commit to adopting robust anti-corruption measures based on previous proposals with appropriate public scrutiny. Enact procurement legislation requiring open bidding for government contracts. Rejoin the Stolen Assets Recovery or STAR initiative, a joint program with the World Bank and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. So far, over 200,000 people went to foreign employment this year. According to the Foreign Employment Bureau, 2, 208,772 Sri Lankans have left for foreign jobs this year alone. According to its media statement, Deputy General Manager Mr. Gamini Senarat Yapa says that most of them are men and the number is over 126,000. He also stated that 2,858 Sri Lankans have left for work in South Korea. These people seeking employment in foreign countries are our assets, bringing in dollars to their kith and kin, thus benefiting the country. Ooh. 
China has granted 5,000 metric tons of rice to provide rice aid to nearly 1 million school children. This program will be implemented in 7,925 selected schools and will, will cover 78% of the total number of schools in Sri Lanka. The official handling over of the rice stock in, uh, to Sri Lanka occurs at the Ministry of Education attended by Mr. Suril Prema Jayantha, Minister of Education and the Chinese Ambassador Kui Zhenhong. China has gifted a total of 10,000 metric tons of rice to 7,900 schools across the country and supports its school meal program for a period of six months. The Chinese embassy in Colombo, quoting the ambassador, tweeted that China supports the school meal program of Sri Lanka to provide daily nutritious meals to 1.1 million children. Another two shipments of rice donations will arrive respectively in the next and following week with more in the pipeline. Our Sri Lanka brothers and sisters are suffering from the current crisis. The vulnerable populations, including children, especially the ones in low-income families will suffer the most. That's why we have decided to support the school meal program at the request of Sri Lankan government. I'm also glad to learn that the fourth consignment will prioritize schools in the northern, eastern, and the north central provinces where poor households are in urgent need. We are all discussing with the ministry to provide school uniform materials for the new school year. All parties agreed to form the National Assembly. An agreement has been reached at the party leaders' meeting held last week at the Parliament complex under the chairmanship of Prime Minister Dinesh Gunawardena to form the National Assembly with the participation of all the political party leaders in the Parliament. This National Assembly is established with the aim of alleviating the economic and social crisis that has arisen in the country. Amidst the crisis problem, a state-of-the-art shopping mall in Kandy. Kandy is in the central province of Sri Lanka. It's one of the most critical places in Sri Lanka because the temple of the sacred tooth is there. It is a major city in Sri Lanka and a very developed city. This city has also some parks and most are very pleasant. A place to retire with your dollars and life is most pleasant in a celebrious climate. Not too cold as well, not hot. You can see greenery everywhere, but there are no beaches here. But a walk around the lake is customary for all those living in this fortunate city. The city has many tourist attractions also. People here are amiable and well educated. When you are in Kandy, you should visit the Soft Logic Odell Mall. Soft Logic Holdings PLC announced the launch of its newest retail development, the Odell Mall in Kandy last week. The expansive 91,414 square feet Odell Mall is poised to be Kandy's most sought of the state-of-the-art premium lifestyle shopping destination in the heart of Sri Lanka's hill capital. Saudi Arabia likes to lend fuel to Sri Lanka for up to five years. It is reported that the Saudi Arabian government has expressed an initial agreement to provide fuel worth US six billion per year for a continuous period of five years under the credit basis. Sources say that Environment Minister Nasir Ahmed, who visited the Saudi Arabia as a special representative of the President Ranil Vikramasinghe, received this initial agreement during a discussion made with the authorities of the country. This discussion focused on fuel supply to Sri Lanka under a five-year loan plan. So viewers, I hope you are pleased that you and my people are living in Sri Lanka. 
with the sympathetic help from foreign nations, grants, bailouts, and good administration, will come out, come out of this economy of social crisis soon. And let's pray for that. Stay safe and goodbye for now.